Welcome everyone. This video is demonstrating an old relic. This transformer here, this circuit setup, is one of the first ones that I originally built and it's based off of Laser Sabers uh, design. I think it was Laser Sabers 2.0 um winding it's on on the e core um and i made a few modifications to it uh to allow it to be a battery charger as well and so i'll demonstrate that i had to go and dig this out of the shed so it's dirty um yeah very dirty it's come straight from the shed and on the bench um so it's that old that some of the components there have started to rust away. I had to replace the transistor for some reason. It uh, no longer worked. I'm not sure why. Maybe corrosion issues that are evident on that um, thermal cutoff. I used to have a thermal cutoff on it, which I put on there just to prevent an accident and, and I would run um, six of these yeah I think yeah six of these lights um, now this is a a newer version of those lights that doesn't actually work uh, on this circuit and which is part of what led me to build my own circuit as well um because this circuit this original one was very limited you had to get the bulb that worked and nothing else and so uh, i only have one of those bulbs left and that's that one there and this uh one here that i purchased thinking it was the same it looks the same but um you're saying voltage characteristics and everything, but uh, something they've put inside this new one does not like this circuit. So because um, I used to have uh, six lights connected up to this thing and run them all night long around a veranda, uh, so I wired up this uh, 240 volt, the end of an extension cord. I just cut that off and... Uh, wired it up. I'll put the schematics up again. Don't you know? A lot of my devices are about practicality and not so much looking pretty. Um, and I need you know bare wires and that sort of stuff so that I can do different tests. You know, place the load in different positions. So they tend to look a bit ugly, um, but they're functional and and I you know deploy them and leave them there i don't play around with a lot of this stuff like this one sat in position for a couple of years running lights so um yeah so at the moment i've got it running through resistors uh, i will place the resistance of that light on the screen because that was probably the most efficient operation. It does run off the resistors, and I'm not entirely sure if they're the correct um, value, but it's what I've got available to me at the moment, so I'm testing it out. So um, I placed uh, an additional winding on here that isn't on Laser Sabers um, 2.0 coil this additional winding is um, 20 turns again schematic will be at the end and then that feeds into a full wave bridge rectifier um, this little LED here is um, it acts as a load so in like the super jewel ring are uh, from memory, this is a bloody long time ago, but from memory, I believed you couldn't start the thing without the load. And so that little LED in there, which has its own 
resistor so that it can function off the 240 volt cord um, that acts as the load for the system and allows it to operate without me having a light connected over here I'll turn this light on um, it's also a great pest deterrent this circuit because like all jewel ringers um, they have that rather annoying sound which can't be heard too much you know this this one I had to live nearby it I mean this section was out in the shed and because it transfers over the 240 volt line um, high voltage transmission it can go a really long distance so I had uh, a couple of extension cords connected into this and then the lights were uh, deployed along those um, those cables you can hear as the voltage drops um, it changes the resonant frequency and now we get that uh, stereotypical uncomfortable uh, ringing sound so I've got um, some old batteries there I'm just charging one of them in this demonstration they can't they were sitting out beside the um, this old circuit and you can see everything's a bit dusty in the shed um, so I got this meter connected up here and we'll make this demonstration with the light uh, short and the charging because of that uncomfortable sound um, so out of the 20 extra turns placed on top of laser saber super drill ringer and the bridge rectifier I uh, believe it pumps out 100, uh, 144 volts um, DC, and so we connect that up. Oh, these even these alligator clips—they're so old they don't they don't bloody move anymore. Right. Okay, so that's on now. Now, and you know, admittedly. It wasn't a comfortable, it never was a comfortable thing. I built one of these for someone and put it in a in a sealed wooden box with no holes at all. And we plugged up the seams and everything. And it got rid of like probably 90% of that horrible sound. But, you, you know, it's a very, very efficient charger. Um sometimes it'll go out like it'll it'll stop and sometimes that can be from the load being too much and then resonance starts to become an issue and and it can't sustain the light and the charger at the same time it's a pretty rapid charger um, but it's most valuable asset is that charger was capable of reviving batteries now it's just switched off again because it's pulling a lot out and, and it changes that frequency a lot so what you do in that case is connect it up to resistors instead um sim that's similar to what mtech's doing and now that starts charging again and uh, if I take off the positive there we will see the battery voltage will start to drop away so it's so that's decreasing I'll try and put that back on whilst leaving the camera there <sighs> Okay, so you can see that that quickly starts charging the battery. But more importantly than just a battery charger, um, it, its main asset was being able to revive batteries. I remember telling a friend at the time who was ranting about his um, very expensive drill batteries dying on him. And... I asked him if I could have them and he said they were buggered and I said yeah I, I believe I can fix them with this 
circuit and uh, he said, well, I've got others that I'll give you that you can you know, have if they work in the end, but these ones, if you can fix them for me, I'd, I'd greatly appreciate it. So um, I showed him the circuit running and uh, it was making its usual horrible sound. And that's running now and running off of resistors, but again, remember... Um, those might not be the correct values. I will put those values in, and as I said, the ohm res resistance for this particular bulb, and probably the best match would be to to match the resistance of that bulb and use that there in place of uh, whatever value I currently have there. So I think they're 30K. Anyway, so very, very simple. But that's the circuit that birthed my journey. That's the uh, opening to that never-ending rabbit hole. Um, but yeah, it's uh, you don't need this this little LED here, or extension cord. You can just connect that up normally. But that allowed me to um, run the circuit long distances using conventional uh, extension cords, electric cords. So. But, uh, yeah, the old school, the old relic, a blast from the past, this one. I'll just try and connect that up, and we can sign off the video with uh, that super jewelry, <laughs> that beautiful sound. All right, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and have a nice day.